Greetings everybody and welcome to the Learning Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 series. This will be the first video lesson in a series of lessons that will train you on how to use Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. Today's lesson will introduce you to the Adobe Dreamweaver workspace, panels, toolbars and views. This is the first screen you will see when you launch Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. At the top you have the menu bar at the bottom you are looking at the property inspector panel on the right hand side you have some standard panels being displayed as you can see some of these panels are currently grayed out so let's open up a web page so we can enable these panels and go into some more features involving Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 As you can see, the Adobe Dreamweaver interface features a vast array of user configurable panels and toolbars. Let us take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the names of these components. At the top, you have the menu bar. Right next to it is the workspace menu. You have the document toolbar here. To the right of it is the document title bar. Down here is the browser navigation toolbar. Right here is the code view window. To the left of it is the code coding toolbar. To the right, you have the Design View window. To the bottom left of the screen, you have the Tag Selectors. Below, you have the Property Inspector panel. This is the Property Inspector panel at the bottom here. And on the side here, you have at the top, you have the insert panel, right here, the insert panel. You have the CSS styles panel, and you have the files panel here. Right now, you are looking at a split screen of the workspace, the current workspace we are in. And on the left, here is the code window. On the right, the design view window. If I make a change in the code window, it will be reflected in real time in the design window right here. And if I make a change in the design view window, it will also be reflected in the code window. For example, if I were to go into the code window and delete this text, Come here and click refresh. You will quickly see it being removed in the design view window. Let's undo. Click refresh and it's back. If I were to remove it from the design view window, delete, you see it represented here. In the, the, in the code window and it's removed also and it's removed and let's undo okay you can switch between views by accessing the document toolbar and selecting the view you want so at the top here I can click code and that will be that that will present me with the code view window for me to write my HTML, JavaScript, CSS code. I can quickly switch to design view and see how my code will be displayed in a web browser. I can also put the two views side by side and split the screen and work in one window and see it represented in another window side by side. Right now the screen is 
split vertically. If I go up to view at the top menu and I uncheck split vertically, that will split it horizontally for me. And if I want it back to vertically, I go back to view and I put the check back to split vertically. Okay. Although you can access most of Adobe Dreamweaver's commands from the menus, Dreamweaver makes much of its power available to you through user selectable panels and toolbars. These panels. You can access all of the available panels under the Windows menu. All the panels are listed under here, the Windows menu. I have, for instance, the properties panels being displayed at the bottom. If I click here, that will take it away. If I click here, that will put it back. Insert AP elements, databases, and so on. So all the available panels are under the window menu. Okay. You can minimize panels by double clicking on the panel name. For instance, if I want to minimize this panel, I can quickly double click on the name properties and that will minimize the panel. To maximize it, expand it, double click on the name again and that will maximize the panel. You can collapse panels to an icon by clicking the double arrow on the top right of the panel. If I click here, that will maximize the panels to an icon. If I click the double arrow again, that will expand the panel. To float a panel, click and drag it from the group by its tab. I can drag panels. For instance, I could take this panel, move it down here, this other one move it down here and take this one move it down here or down here. You can float them around and basically place them wherever you want. You can reorder panel tabs by dragging it to the, to the desired position. For instance, I can take CSS styles and let's say move it in the middle basically you know take properties move it here take insert move it here you know put it back at the bottom okay to stack panels drag the desired tab to the bottom of another panel when you see the blue drop zone appear release the mouse. It's basically talking about if you are looking to stack a panel just take it, drag it and wait for that blue drop zone down here and then release the mouse. Okay. You can rearrange them. Again wait for let's see I've made a mess to reset everything just go up to the workspace menu and choose reset designer or reset whatever workspace you are working in uh, right now I'm working in within the workspace and the, the, the designer workspace is the one I'm working with and so I, I click reset designer and that will put everything back in order and there you go okay going back to the workspace 
Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 uh, comes with eight pre-built workspaces. You can quickly customize the Dreamweaver workspace by selecting one of its pre-built workspaces. These workspaces have been optimized by experts to place the tools you need at your fingertips. To access these workspaces, you just, just go up to the top and click on the workspace menu and then you will have access to all eight different workspaces. Right now the workspace I am using is the designer workspace. Uh, I can quickly switch let's say to the classic workspace and that's what this workspace looks like. I can choose maybe the coder workspace and that's what this one looks like. Okay, uh, let's go back to the designer workspace. Okay, let's reset. Okay. One vital tool you'll be using a lot when working within Adobe Dreamweaver is the Property Inspector panel. And that's this guy at the bottom here. The Property Inspector is a very important tool that will be vital to your workflow. This panel normally displays at the bottom of your workspace. The Property Inspector is context driven and adapts to the type of element you select. Insert the cursor into any text on your page and the Property Inspector provides a means to quickly assign some basic HTML codes and formatting to it. For instance, with the Property ins Inspector and the button, um, the HTML button selected here, if I select text here, I will quickly have options to uh, change its headings, assign a class to it. When we get into CSS you'll learn about classes. Uh, assign a link to it, bold it, italicize it, um, indent it, you know, remove the indent, uh, make it, you know, make it uh, into an ordered list uh, and so many other options. If I choose the CSS button here, uh, this option will give me uh, access to uh, create and edit CSS rules um, and apply rules to the uh, to the selected item that I chose. Okay. Again, we will learn about CSS in the coming lessons. Okay. If I select an image, this will quickly give me access to the properties of the image. I can come here and increase the uh, width of the image as an example. Okay, increase the height of the image. Okay. Um, and so on and so on. So all these different properties of the image are available to me by just selecting uh, that particular image in the document. Okay. Uh, if I'm working with tables and I want access to the tables property, I can quickly uh, put my cursor within the table and then select the tag select select the table within the tag selector and that will quickly give me access to uh, various properties of the table as well. For instance, I can come here and, and you know add additional rows, uh, add columns, remove rows, remove columns, uh, convert table to uh, width to pixels, um, uh, adjust the width, and so many other properties. And later on, like I said, we'll be working with all these different objects all these different um, uh, feature, features. Um, okay, so 
that concludes our first lesson for today. I'll come back later uh, and there'll be other lessons that will go more into detail and go more into some of the advanced features of Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. Um, and I will see you next time. Thank you and bye-bye.